Hello, it's Huggy. Welcome to Shipbreaker. If you're enjoying the content on our channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Let's watch the cutscene. My favorite kind of screen. You like me? Uh, no one ever reads these T's and C's. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, bring a problem attitude, yeah. Problematic attitude, yeah. Positive attitude, yeah. That's me, that's me. All these things are me. Not sure they can make me do that, but whatevs. You can read the terms and conditions. Oh, I can't be bothered. I'm, I'm, we'll skip trading. Oh, we understand. That's fine. Let's hope we don't get copyright struck for the music. I'm sure we won't. They're reasonable people. Each day he steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. There comes a time when he and death meet. What's the next cutter that takes his seat? Cutter 9346-52, your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Please observe this important message. Faith, boundless promise, limitless resources, a brighter future. It's here that hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson. President of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather, Exeter, founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the Railgate. Now, spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The Railgate's reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You have been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, 
most successful and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors, believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our EverWork program. The greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx EverWork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. <laughs> Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. <laughs> nothing we'll have it done in no time <laughs> right Hello, here we are in our head links would like to share the following inspirational message some people dream of great salvage while other people get up every morning and make it happen Here we are in the hab, sorry. Right, let's scooby do out of here. This is our equipment. We haven't very much stuff at the moment. We've got, we got, we can't even do it. We can't even look at our equipment. We got a cutter and we got the, the puller and stuff. That's the cutter and that's the puller. Let's, uh, let's start our shift. We've got to be fairly quick. We can't be messing around too much. Okay, right. So, I'm always going to go for things that I can, um, oh god, uh, new. No. I'm going to go for things that are worth, like, that I can easily salvage. It's a start with anyway. So money's not that important. Mm. They're all pretty, pretty much of a muchness, really. Right, so let's get on and get salvaging. I don't think there's any particularly exciting points of um, ingress on this so let's just scooby-doo out of here obviously when you start you want to tether onto things to get to uh, get to stuff faster check out your HUD when you've got an object grapple it shows you the mass of the object and whether you can move it or not right so we're gonna go down here start cutting this right we don't have tethers at the moment which is bloody annoying so we have to like shove and push things around so <laughs> oh it's been a little while since i played this so i'm sure it'll all be fine though yeah go on sod off right next thing um to be fair you can like cut these off it's not gonna blow anything up right Always understanding your orientation is important, but don't worry. Let's do it. So yeah, first shift. We might not get this ship done in the first shift, so I might as well do like two shifts. Right, it's pretty much... Oh, right, so let's go around to the back. Um... Right, let's just... 
Scooby Doo right around here. Cut the, cut the bits off the back here. I don't think these will even have engines in them because these are. Uh... Nope, not even got an engine in it. Right. Because it's like a starter ship. Oh, God, we haven't even got that thing in there. Come, come on, you. Oh, balls. Wrong place. Have you actually been claimed? I think you have. Yeah, you have. Uh, I forget that's a blue thing, isn't it? All right. All right, let's get in there. Let's see what we got. All right, so this is all processor stuff. So first things first, what we'll do is, well... Because this is, like, literally the most basic ship ever. We're going to, like, take these corners off and we'll get the back off. Yeah, we should be able to shunt that off. Now, with a bit of luck. Oh, bloody hell. Your tanks. We'll just pull those off. That's a bit of luck. No, <laughs> you should have fuel tanks in there, but. Right, get that done. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Right, so let's get this thing into the processor. We've got no neat way of doing it. Tethers are like literally the first thing we ha have to get. Oh god, come on. Unfortunately, we're dealing with a large weight of this, like, what, 300 kilograms? So it, it's quite the bulky bastard. Get in there. Right, piss off. So we've got to, like, yeah, deal with all that. So yeah, let's do that. Right. What else we got? Anything else exciting in there? Nothing particularly exciting. Right, so let's get rid of that. Pull these off. All right. Like these. Everyone wants uh, everyone wants switches. They're the most important things in the world. Switches and ramen. Let's salvage your ramen. All right, ugh. the ship has got like quite a bit of stuff going on. Cut all that stuff off. It's fine. Got to be aware of the O2. Then we've got an infinite amount of oxygen. And got to be very aware that like, the cutter we've got is absolute shit as well. But like, literally all the kit we've got at the moment is absolute fucking garbage. So gotta be all right. Cool. So that should go now. Yeah, cool. Right, towards the processor with you. Have you got a switch on the outside? We'll just yeet, yeet that off. Right. Pump that that way. Make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your own two. Blue Wing is coming. Trust me on this one. We were out. Uh. Okay. Okay, oxygen is low. Okay, we'll just have to hook our way over there. Oh god. Come on. It's absolutely fine. We'll be fine. O2's not that low. I forget we gotta get like the smallest um no, they're not anymore. All right, let's go. So let's go and try and get this wangle this bit of space garbage into the into the garbage pile. All right. Come on. Right. Come on. Just push it in there. 
Oh, I want freaking. Man, man, we can't pull anything. Got like no strength in this pool at all. In order just to position ourselves behind it and shove it. Get out of there. Right, next one. There's nothing to blow up, so cuts are the best here. Just do cuts. When you first start, if there's nothing to lose, then just cut away. Right. And then what we could do is we can jump inside here and we know which way it's going. Ah, uh, it's always the wrong way. Uh. Come on, up you come. Up you come. Right, nice. Next step. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Right, next step. Cut this out. And this. Don't worry about the superstructure too much. It's not worth very much. He says. Just cutting through the superstructure. That's fine. Right. So just needs to go to the processor. So shove it into the processor. Uh Give me tethers, game. Give me tethers. Come here, ramen. Over there. Where'd that bit of ship go? Well, easy to lose track of where the bits of ship go. Oh, there it is. It's... Yeah. Good. Right, next step. Get to the other side. Pop this door. Must be able to actually pick something up for a change and move it because it weighs nothing. Alright. Next. Yo. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Get in there. Pretty of 02. We're doing okay. Salvage games. Salvage level two. It's cool. We'll pop this chair off. Get rid of that. Uh, get this chair off. Uh, oh, get that off. Let's do the clean the cockpit out next. The cockpit's always a good place to get various things. Like, just good, easy to shift. Got to get a locker. So obviously we're going for like level three salvage here. That's clearly not a computer. That's just something that's distracting us. Everyone wants space lockers. Ooh, we've got five minutes. Okay. You. Right, Brahmins. Ramens. I don't know why I'm messing around with ramens. Let's get you. Right, hopefully this won't take a massive amount of time to cut this away. Oh. Get all this cut off. This should be ready to go now. Apart from you. And boom. Get you off. Come on, get a decent angle. We should be able to push that over that way. Next one. Ugh. Everything's so heavy. Come on, and you. No, up you go. Ugh, got no shoving power. 
We won't worry about oxygen too much. Right, now we worry about oxygen. Oh, there's a bit of stuff. Go get that in a second. <laughs> I thought a bit wandered off. Ah, every time. Come on. You. What are you doing over there? Get in there, right. Just got to get this bit done. Where will we do it? Come on, get in the processor, fly boy. Right. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. Right, literally victory. That's all we needed to do. So now we're just going for extra money, but in essence, we've. Uh, so that's how you salvage like your basic ship up to level three, as you can see. This is like pretty chill. This ship. I'm gonna be very lazy. It's all about money, but this is just extra money now. That's cool. Right, just shove that off. This is like a massive chunk of ship though, so well it's a massive chunk of like cockpit, so and so hopefully we can just shove it down the hole. But we don't get any extra rewards for doing it, so right. But we do get the maximum reward we can. Let's just try and get a little bit more. This bit here we don't really care about. It's garbage. The main superstructure. Oh, get in there. Bear in mind I've got like nothing. Literally nothing. Everything's going to be made so much easier when we actually get some better tools to do things. think we're gonna be able to Object accepted for processing. Nice. Okay. Well that's all we got left. Superstructure and I'm not gonna go back to do extra. So that's the first ship done. We only destroyed eleven percent. Three percent remaining, not bad. Seventy or sixty four percent salvaged. Uh, not a great amount of credits soon. Uh not a great amount of credits salvaged, but we did get what, forty five points. Right, let's just see what other kit we've got available. Ship breaker. This is your daily wake up call. Right. Oh. Over looks at our certification. Can we get any more cool equipment? We got all this is the stuff. No, we are even to the point where we've ranked up enough to get any extra equipment. Always the way. Oh, weird. Okay, all right. Excellent. Okay. We'll go look out the window. So, if you uh, enjoyed the content, um, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Hopefully, this will turn into uh, a bit of a series uh, as I as I salvage my way through the game. So, um, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.